it's awesome i think uh, having uh, such uh, pioneers of the field uh, coming from so many countries in bangalore in india and listening to them uh, it's a very different experience uh, it's uh, i would say it was really an opportunity to you know really uh, not only listen to them but also to interact with them and socialize them uh, socialize with them uh, it was a very very rewarding experience so what did you like most of the conference uh, the topics were very nice uh, the some of the talks were brilliant absolutely brilliant uh, and uh, i think uh, the conference format was such that it uh, left me it gave me enough space to interact with a lot of people so uh, you know that was also very very uh, uh, you know enriching so if there is one change that we want to bring what would that be uh, if you can uh, have the conference in the center of the city <laughs> that would be easier that would be better uh, but uh, change wise i think otherwise uh, the, the four days was sometimes you know can be exhausting right so if it can be slightly smaller i think that would be nice uh, but yes I, i mean overall i think it was brilliant absolutely brilliant no complaints about it thanks very much thank you bhavmedi murthy uh, pleasure meeting you so uh, you've been attending this conference um and how is this conference so far oh, but first um you are from alcatel so and you practice agile a lot so some thoughts on from your organization perspective and then we'll come to the conference sure. so i'm murthy bhamidi uh, basically working for alcatel lucent we have been in the agile for roughly last 4 years going great but there's long way to go and uh, first of all i want to thank these organizers of agile india 2013 for bringing in those diverse talks from really the gurus of agile and lean thank you very much for that this is basically my second outing i attended the last year one also that's what pulled me here for this year awesome uh, yes okay. so since you have attended last year and this year so it's two years in a row uh, what do you see as a difference between agile india 2012 and 2013 yeah uh, probably first time being last year i took away a lot of things mm -hmm. okay uh because it's probably second time mm -hmm. it's little less mm -hmm. also i think i am able to attend only the last two days technical track i couldn't attend the mm -hmm. management track right. but definitely on the on whatever i attended i have some takeaways i would like to share with you right sure go ahead okay. uh, uh the first one i think uh, this i heard from linda mm -hmm. uh, on fearless change so right. one thing that uh, struck me was uh, having passion mm -hmm. and just do it so mm -hmm. those two words i'm taking away mm -hmm. and uh, definitely when we come talk of change mm -hmm. uh, it's important to involve the teams right. engage the teams mm -hmm. for that it's important that the champions of change mm -hmm. have to really be show humility right. and be able to take along other team members right. so it's important for the software engineering to learn from sociology and other fields right. so that we can solve some of the problems we are facing in the software engineering so right. th that would be another key thing i'm picking up that's mm -hmm. a new one which didn't come in the last time this is one point which i'm really focusing on and trying to pick up how can we learn take patterns from others and use it in the software engineering right Yeah. I think one thing from Venki I picked up which I I'm going to use it with my team members especially the development team members the unit test is like for software engineering it's like exercising mm -hmm. so it's basically we know it's good yes. but we don't spend enough energy right. so this is what I'm going to use to <laughs> energize some of my teams who are in development right the second one I think from Kevin one of his talks I picked up mm -hmm. is a driven to test right. kind of an area where a uh, couple of things he was talking about on the testing side mm -hmm. uh particular talk mm -hmm. i realized okay i missed the other one so that's the struggle <laughs> definitely it's a good uh, mix of variety of talks uh if we were to change just one thing for the next conference in 2014 what would that be yeah i it's quite subjective observation but uh, uh probably i'm seeing lot of uh, academicians mm -hmm. lot of uh, uh, professional coaches mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. i would also like to see a large scale practitioners mm -hmm. uh, 
giving talks right. because their perspective uh, would bring in certain reality right. and unbiased reality of the currently what the state is i think that would be one advice if you can go shoot for sure some people who are actually practicing on a large scale right. uh, if they can share maybe theirs is may not be as interesting but that would set some reality to the conference right, right. right. all right thank you so much thank you very much thank you.